We give you all the glory, covenant keeper, merciful God, the one that did not boast in anything, but is boasting in his rich mercies. Father, we come, O Lord, even to your throne this evening. Father, let us have a divine encounter with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Our coming is unto you and to you alone, Lord, eternal rock of ages. None of us will go back the same way we came. Has the Lord lived in the mighty name of Jesus? Heavenly Lord, glorify yourself, even in our midst, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. The Bible said the prayer of a sinner is an abomination in the sight of God. Let today the mercy will prevail over judgment, over my life, over your life. Our Father and our God, we've come to the throne of mercy. Father, to obtain mercy. Father, mercifully attend to us today. Let your mercy, O oh Lord, drench us, Lord. That precious blood that has been shed over 2,000 years ago have not clothed. Father, Lord, we make use of the blood, even to wash us clean. Make us audible to you today. Father, we ask, O oh Lord, for the cleansing of the blood. For in Jesus, precious name we have prayed let's ask that god in infinite mercy will surely meet you and i at the point of our need today that our coming will not be in vain as the lord liveth our father and our god we have come to seek you not man we have come to really fellowship with you father our coming together will not be in vain for in jesus precious name we have prayed Praise the Lord. One more prayer for daddy and mommy. That's our pastor that is resident here in this victory house. That's daddy and mommy. Let's ask that God in infinite mercy will surely showcase his glory in every department of their lives. Let's begin to pray for mommy and daddy. That God in infinite mercy will surely showcase his glory in their life, in their ministry, even to the glory of the name of the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, that God will prove Himself even in their lives in every situation concerning them. In the mighty name of Jesus, for in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. It's a prayer meeting, so I'll try as much as possible not to talk too much so that we will have more time even to pray. Praise the Lord. How many people were in the church last or last Thursday? Wow. Okay, Daddy, too. Praise the Lord. The minister that ministered last week, Thursday, really we are, do what? Tear up our, our faith, even to know and lean more on God. Praise the Lord. He tell us that the identity that we are just seeking now has already been given unto us. Praise the Lord. 
we will still dwell on the theme of the term. And I tried to pray. And what God gave me, I just, God will help us to be able to lick it up. Praise the Lord. So the theme says what? New identity. Standing on is um, the book of Isaiah 62 verse 1 and 2. But we will move to 1 to 4. Praise the Lord. He said, for Zion's sake, will I not hold my peace? And for Jerusalem's sake, I will not rest. On the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness. And salvation therefore as a lamp that burn it. And the Gentiles shall see thy righteousness. And all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name. Which the mouth of the Lord shall name. That shall also be a crown of glory in the hands of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hands of their God. That shall no more be time forsaken. Amen. Neither shall thy land any more be time desolate, but thou shalt be called Ezebah, and thy land bail, for the Lord the light in thee, and thy land shall be married. Praise the Lord. Um, the little exhortation before we start praying, I will title Glory Restoration. Praise the Lord. Glory Restoration. And you know, by the time I began to pray, the only word God gave me was the prodigal son. Praise the Lord. Was the prodigal son. I was just like, we are talking about new identity prodigal son and so i began to pray and study the book will take the prodigal son story that's in the book of luke 15. praise the lord the story the parable of the prodigal son we will take it from the book of uh, luke luke 15 and uh, we will start from, I think, verse 11 to 24. And he said, a certain man had two sons. And the younger one of them said to his father, Father, give me the portion of goods that are falling to me. And he divided unto them his living. And not many days after, the younger son gathered all together and took his journey into a far country and there wasted his substance with riotous living and when he had spent all there arose a mighty farmer farmer in that land and he began to be in wants and he went and joined himself to a citizen of that country and he spent into him into his feet to feed swine and will fill, have filled his belly with the ox that the swine did eat. And no man gave unto him. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father's have bread enough and to spare? And I perish with hunger. I will rise and go to my father. Will I say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me one of thy higher servants. And he rose and came to his father. And when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe, put it on him, put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring it at the fattest, the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat and be merry. For this my son was dead, and is alive again. He was lost and is found, and they began to be merry. Praise the Lord. 
when we are talking about the story of prodigal son, it's a story that tells us a lot of things about wasted resources, wasted destiny, wasted time. We talk about not really appreciating what we have, even at the time that it is always available to us. I titled the topic, I said, Glory Restoration. From the story of the prodigal son, so many things come to my mind. You know, at times, I remember that during the period of lockdown, most things that we take for granted are the things that happened. You can decide on your own, I want to be in my house, I don't want to go out today or for this week, fine. But the moment we are compelled to say at home, it's like every one of us is caged. Even children, I remember that's when parents mostly appreciate teacher most. I said like, being with these children is not fun at all. But we see, majorly, that's the situation that we find ourselves in most cases. He had everything available to him. And the grace even to be contented with what God has given unto him was not there. He believed that he believed that there is still a greener pasture somewhere. He still believed that there is a better life outside the life that his father was able to give unto him. And lo and behold, he even have everything to cushion him to really live a life of affluence. He had all the money. I don't know where it is ever heard of. That is all we demand, even for his own inheritance from the father. Why the man is still living? But that was the case of this young man. He believed that he had a better and more life to enjoy. They said he finished all because he did not labor for it. Most of the time, we take our salvation to like, it's a normal thing, I'm a Christian, born into a Christian home. All my life, I've been going to church. You know, he took it for granted, believing that, okay, it's my right, I can do whatever I like with my life and do anyhow. At the end of the day, he discovered that there is even more, that the Father's protection is part of the things keeping him. He went about, had a nice time, and no time at all. Because he did not labor for that resources. He just squandered it anyhow. And at the end of the day, even the worst situation, that the servants of his father's house have not experienced at all, was the same kind of life he ended up living. We see, he wasted his life. He wasted the father's resources. And we discover that he was rebellious. How? The father was like, you wait not till the time. Say, give me my own portion. I just want my own. And how many times you and I have decided on our own that is what I want. It's the way I want it. That's the way I want to do it. And at the end of the day, God will allow us to be. But one beautiful thing about the story so far was the faithfulness of the Father. Is the loving kindness of the Father. You know from our anchor Bible passage, talking about uh, the second, the book of uh, Isaiah 62, we discovered and said what? The salvation is the righteousness. And he said your glory the moment you are living right, the moment you are pleasing me, your glory will surely show forth. He was under the love of the Father and he took the love for granted. The book of John said 3.16. He said, for God so loved the world that he gave only his begotten son, that whosoever believe in him will never perish but have everlasting life. But we see, we discover that that salvation at times, we just take it for granted. The Father's love is beyond what you can comprehend. If carnally you and I are to react to such a son, I believe that even saying you want to be a servant, 
Maybe we have to have sent so many mystery ahead before coming closer to the house. Praise the Lord. But we see the father love was unconditional. He was ready to accept him. And that's the same way Father God is ready even to accept every lost, lost souls. Last week we learned something. That so many things, so many claims. He said he has even making, made us what little gods. All you and I need to do, the moment we know, he is holy. It cannot be old iniquity. And he said, as long as we are living right, say, so if you are willing and obedient, you will surely hit the good of the land. And I do not see, I'm yet to hear, any condition that does not have solution in the Bible. There is no situation, there is no challenge, there is nothing that you and I are going through. That has not happened before, and God has not already already given His word, telling us and giving us the solution thereof. But we see that the only thing we need, and you know, at times God will throw challenges our way to get our attention. Most of the time, we are so busy doing one activities or the other, and those challenges. You know, I believe that the young man was so find it so easy. No trouble, no challenge, no issue at all. And that's why he was able to really live the way he was. But thank God, by the time he went out, he saw that it's not that easy outside. Even the worst situation that has not happened to the servant, slaves in his father's house, was the situation he faced when he got outside. But you know the beautiful thing? Thank God for mercy and thank God for him calling himself back home. He decided to say, Ah, I will go back to my father's house. I know I'm not worthy again to be called a son. I will just ask him to make me one of his servants. We will see that the hand of God, the book of Isaiah 59, 1 2, God is ever ready. God is always in attention, waiting for you and I to call upon him. Because his hand is not too short. His ear is not too heavy for him to hear us. It's just that iniquity. That sin that is standing between us and our maker. And we see that what? The moment you believe in God. Mark 16, 16. He said what? The moment we believe in our God. You just believe it, then you are sure you are saved, you are secure. No evil will be for you. But he said to unbelievers, definitely their own is damnation. Praise the Lord. So we see our relationship with God should be one that all our trust. Some trust in chariots. He believes in himself. He believes he can make it on his own, outside the Father. And at the end of the day, most of the time, you and I might claim, I'm so brilliant. I know what it takes. How can somebody say he's working, he's doing business and he's not making money? How can you say you are working and you don't have this, you don't have that? But we do not know that God is the one that brings increase our way. So we see, sin most of the time make us to be far away from God. And the effect of sin is so eminent in the young man's life. We see that sin has robbed him of being his father's son. He lost his dignity too. You know a rich man that has a son. Everything at his peck and call begin to walk and eating what is meant for pigs. God forbid. And Definitely, nobody, the dignity has gone then. That self-respect, honor has, has gone again. And his conscience is already enslaved. He himself knows that he has lost what it takes even to be happy in the presence of God. So I want us to realize that majorly, 
we need to be in line in tune with God. Everything. You know, there was a time in my life that I believed that I'm standing. Nothing. You know? But it dawned on me. The time I believed that I was standing, that was the time. I won't say God now. Nah. Devil plans so many people to really try that faith. Praise the Lord. But we see, when we look at ourselves for help, the moment we believe that we are, we are capable, we are telling God to hands off. We are telling God we can be in charge, we can be in control. And I don't know any one of us that can survive without God's really watching and keeping us. So many things are happening today. So many situations that we did not plan for. So many things challenging our God. But all I know is, no matter the situation, no matter the challenges, as long as my standing, your standing is right with your ma our maker, where we sure, how we surely hand in praise. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So we should not seek help from wrong sources. He tried to ask a friend for help. And what did the friend do? He asked him to be feeding swine. So the level that he was not even being paid, he has to eat food from that same quarter. Our only sure help source is what? Is God Almighty. So shall we please, I just background information and know why or how we ought to pray. Shall we rise up? Let's begin to appreciate God Almighty, the God of second chance. Let's begin to thank him that no matter the offenses of the past, no matter the way I've offended God, no matter what I've done before that does not give glory to his name, that God is ever ready, ever merciful. Present help in time of need. Let's begin to appreciate him. He said the glory of the latter shall be better than the former. That's the God we are serving. The Father in your mercy. We thank you, we appreciate you, we give you all the glory. We adore you, we reference you. We thank you because you are God of second chance. Our Father and our God, thank you for a new fresh in you. Thank you, Lord, for the new encounter with you. Thank you, Lord, because you are ever ready to give me a second chance. I won't make all tackle, but wherever or however you have believed that you have missed it, begin to ask God for mercy. He's ever ready. His love is agape love, unconditional love. Love that is not waiting or waiting for anything in return. Let's begin to ask. Father, he said, if we hide and we decide, oh Lord, to hide our iniquity, he said he will never forgive us. But you know, if you are just, just all you need to do is to say, Lord, have mercy. I've offended you. I've done something wrong. Lord, have mercy. You are God of second chance. Father, Lord, I come to you again. newness of my heart. Just like he came back to his father. Father, I've come back again to ask for mercy. Heavenly Lord, show me mercy, Lord. Let mercy prevail over judgment. Whatever I've done, O Lord, that make you even not to see me, not to hear me, not to save me. Heavenly Lord, forgive me in the mighty name of Jesus. In everything. There is nothing too hard for this God. He is always ready to forgive us. He said we should call upon him in the day of, the day of trouble. He will surely answer us. He will surely attend to our needs. Father Lord, you say you will show us great and mighty things. Even in the midst of what is happening in Nigeria, we are standing and open, waiting for those glorious things that you will bring out of our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. It's only those that God decides to keep. Those are the ones that are saved. Like I told you earlier, there are times our self-righteousness 
our over familiarity. He was so familiar with his father. Our familiarity, our soul, you know, being used to everything could really make us to believe that we can do anything on our own. Let's ask that, Father, we have no power of our own. We lean on you, Lord. Help out of the helpless, Lord, help us. You are the only one that can showcase your glory in our lives. Father, we lean on you, Lord. Eternal rock of ages, help us. Restore us, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Let's say, Father, let me dwell in the hollow of your palm. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let me dwell in the hollow of your palm. Father, let me dwell in the hollow of your palm, Lord. Let me dwell in the hollow of your palm, my Father and my God. My maker, let me dwell in the hollow of your palm. Let nothing even take me away from your presence. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nothing, no tribulation, no trial. We even harvest me from your presence. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's ask that God in your infinite mercy, let your goodness and mercy overwhelm me and all that concerns me. If God is merciful, if his goodness is following you and I, then we are sure, we are secure. So let's say, Father, let the goodness and mercy, your goodness and mercy overwhelm me and all that concerns me. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, let your goodness and mercy overwhelm me, overwhelm your church. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your goodness and mercy overwhelm me, overwhelm your church. Overwhelm everything that concerns each and every one of us. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Let's ask that God will make every resources available. That every heavenly bodies will work even in our favor. We say we are restoring glory. The glory, he said, the thoughts that he has for you and I are for good enough of evil to give us expected end. Let's ask that God, every resources, both woman, both not living, everything, call on heavenly bodies together, even to attend to our needs. In the mighty name of Jesus, that God, everything that wants to cage our glory, let them be destroyed. Let them be scattered. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Some people have challenges. Not because they have wrong or they have done anything bad. Some evil family pattern. Some is just the, it's just the lineage they come from. It's just the lineage they come from. Some is just, it's not on their own. So let's ask that God in infinite mercy. Your blood now flow in my vein. I do not belong to that heritage again. Let's ask that the blood of Jesus that flow in our vein. Because I'm your child. You are my brother. I'm heir to the kingdom. My father, my God, I dissociate myself. From every evil family type. Some family, they will walk. It has been on day, they will go beyond a certain level. How will the glory that God has commanded upon their life come to manifestation? Let's begin to ask of the Lord. That my father, my God, my maker. The one that has everything good in his custody. Your blood flow in me. There is no failure in Christ. I will surely not fail. As the Lord living, Jesus did not fail. I will not fail. No matter the situation, all we end in glory. All we end in praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. No matter the situation today, I know the name of the Lord will be glorified. Even in my life, in my family. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' 
mighty name we have prayed. When we talk about glory, it means what? Honor, respect. God tabernacle overshadowing everything concerning you. We see the prodigal son has the glory already in his father's house. But he lost all that. But coming back, we see that God even gave the glory beyond the way he left. So let's ask that God in your infinite mercy continue to showcase your glory. Continue, O oh Lord, to showcase your glory in my doings, in my secular work, even in your church. Father, Lord, showcase your glory in every aspect of my life. Let people see, see me and know that indeed I am your child. Father, Lord, reflect your glory even upon my life in my family in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. So many situations in Nigeria today. So many people are finding it difficult to live. So many people are having issues. But at the same time, many people are smiling to the banks. What happened? What is so special about them? I believe it's just the spirit of God that is upon, heavy upon them. So let's ask that God... Let your spirit, O oh Lord, be heavy upon my life, upon my destiny. Spirit of the living God, be enthroned upon my life, upon my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your hand, O oh Lord, be heavy upon me, upon your church. Showcase your glory in our life, in our destiny, Lord. Prove to the whole world that you, truly you are our shield, you are our buckler, you are our provider. You are our keeper. You do not sleep nor slumber. Father, let your glory. Father, Lord, rest upon me, upon everything that concerns us. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. We are saying destiny being, glory being restored. Let's have that. Let's say, Father, select me. For uncommon promotion and elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, select me. Select my children. Select, O oh Lord, everything. Every member of Victory House, whether here or not. Let testimony galore even be our portion. Father, select us, O oh Lord, for uncommon promotion, for uncommon elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, select us, O oh Lord. For common promotion, for un, for uncommon promotion and elevation in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have play, prayed. They say, What is favor? Favor is what? Unmerited help. Help beyond yourself. Help that you can just, you don't know how it's happened. Someone said, when you can explain the way you go about it, then it's not of God. But the moment you cannot just say, I am me myself, I can't just explain. So let's ask that God, I claim divine favor everywhere I go in the mighty name of Jesus. Some people will go for an interview. It might just be the shirt they put on. And that we attract the people that are interviewed there. I say, I just like you. I just want to help you. Some it's just their name. Father, everywhere we go, Father, let your favor go with us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we claim divine favor everywhere we go in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Another one we ask that, Father, anywhere I go, let the blood of Jesus speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Anywhere I go, Father, let your blood speak for me in the mighty name of Jesus. Wisdom from above, Father, speak through me. Speak for me anywhere I go in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your blood, Lord, speak for me. Speak for our children. 
Even when they go for interview. Even when we go for interview. Spirits of the living God. The unknowing God. Let your blood speak for us. In the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus mighty name we are praying. Let's ask that Father by your mercy. Move me forward in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm tired of, this, of standing in the same place. Heavenly Lord. Prepare me forward. Move me forward. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, let me be at the right place at the right time. Even by your power, by your strength. Help me, O Lord. Even Lord, orchestrate my movement. Even to the place of my glory. Father, take me, O Lord, to the place that you have planned for me. Father, put me, O Lord, even on the place that you want me to be. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we ask, let me be at the right place at the right time. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's put our hands on our head. And let's begin to tell God, fresh oil. My head received fresh oil. Oil to make exploit. Fresh oil from above. When God anoints you, it will be as if you are the only one that knows how to do it. Father, fresh oil from above, Lord. Fall upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, Lord, let your fresh oil fall upon my head. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anointing breaks yoke. Father, let your fresh oil be upon me in the mighty name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name we are praying. I believe God is in attendance with us today. I don't know that thing that you need. That thing that you have been asking God about. Let's begin to ask right now. What are the challenges? God is ever available. He said as we speak into his ear, so he will do unto us. Begin to ask the desire of your heart. What are those things? Nothing is too difficult for this our maker. There is, there is no impossibility with our God. Ask of him, Lord. Ask of him. And be rest assured. That will surely ask until your joy is full. For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. And so our Father and our God the Most High. Father in oneness of spirit. In unity of our God we have come to your presence Lord. Father we thank you because you are praying. Prayer answering God. We thank you because beyond what you are able to ask this evening. You will do unto us. In the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because help we arise even for us in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you because the glory that you have promised us as your children will be restored this evening. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father Lord, you will prove to unbelievers. You will showcase your glory in our life. And they will surely ask us of our God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every of our prayer requests we soak into the precious blood of Jesus. Father, we receive answer with speed in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, our Father and our God, because we know you will do unto us as we have asked of you in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, thank you. To you will be all the glory, honor, adoration in Jesus' name. 
For in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I want us to stretch forth our hands towards our mommy. God has used to bless us. Let us ask that every virtue that has gone out of her, that God should replace. And let there be a manifestation of God's glory in his life, in her life and her family. Let there be evidence of God's glory in her life, in her home, in her marriage, in everything that has to do with her. That God's glory should be made manifest. Pray for her. That this will be the least she will ever minister. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Praise the Lord. We are sounding so cold. Pray, pray, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's good that we all came. Amen. It's offering time. Offering time. If you really want the glory of God to be made manifest, package something nice for this God. You are great, yes, you are holy one. We say thank you. Daddy, we say thank you. We just want to say thank you. Lord, we are asking that this offering, oh God, will be used to your own glory. Is there anyone who came to your house empty handed as a result of lack? Father, provide for such a person in Jesus' name. That none of us will come to your house empty handed anymore in Jesus' name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are prayed. Please sit and breathe in. Let's take our announcement for today. Join us tomorrow morning for our daily morning prayers. Dew of Heaven on WW. The address is up there. Praise the Lord. I just want to comment about that morning dew. I don't used to attend. Recently, I requested for it and I found out that it's not something somebody can afford to miss. 
I really enjoyed it. And I want to say thank you <laughs> for connecting me. Praise the Lord. So if you are not yet among them, uh, connecting to that program, please try. It's very, very enriching. Amen. Praise the Lord. Ministering is our own pastor, our daddy, Pastor Tony Olubemi, in charge of RCCG Victory House. The time is 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. God bless you as you join us in the prayers. Amen. National Elders, National Council of Elders presents 19th Annual Elders Congress. Can we clap for the elders? Clap! Oh, if you want to grow and join that group, clap, 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 clap. It's not easy to be an elder. Praise the Lord. The team this year says Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. Wonderful team. The time is um, Friday tomorrow. Okay, 5 p.m. for Friday. Tomorrow's one is 5 p.m. And Saturday, 9 a.m. I just want to encourage you to be part of the program. The venue is going to be here in this very auditorium. Come. As you come, the Lord will bless you and you will grow to become an elder in Jesus' name. And for those of us who are elders who will live longer in Jesus' name. Well, you are not saying amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Saturday evangelism archery for all, for everybody. Time is 4.45 p.m. Yeah? Prompt, is it? 4.45 p.m. Yeah, on Saturday, prompt. Let's come and launch out and God will help us. We will start from here, church premises. God bless us as we win souls into the kingdom of God. Make yourself a soul winner by joining this outreach on Saturday. Join us for a glorious service in God's presence this Sunday. Amen. Host, Pastor Tony Olubemi, Pastor in Church of Province. Dates, Sunday 23rd, May. It promises to be wonderful as you attend. First service is 7.30 a.m. Second service is 9.05 a.m. Venue is still here. Church Auditorium. God bless you as you come in Jesus' name. So financially support the ongoing renovation works in the church. Kindly do a transfer or write a check in favor of RCCG Victory House, Zenith Bank. The account number is on the screen. God bless you as you support the work in his vineyard in Jesus' name. He has done great things. He has done it. He has done great father you have done great things he has done great things bless his holy name and so father we thank you this moment Lord, we thank you because you have actually done great things. You have renewed our identities. Ah, Father, you have given us glorious identities. Identities that when men see us, they will know of the truth that we are from you. Lord, we ask that there shall be a performance of your word in our lives in Jesus' name. As we go, you will go with us. We cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We cover our home with the blood of Jesus. We cover every one of our members with the blood of Jesus. Our Father, all these evil vices happening everywhere will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Father, Lord, we ask that even our daddies and mommy that are not here, Father, Lord, cover them with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' wonderful name we have prayed. Let us share the grace and fellowship.
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you now and forever. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Sorry, say surely to somebody. Surely. God's goodness and mercy shall follow you. And you shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Shalom. God bless you.